Mr. Harper, thank you once again, again for agreeing to an interview. Um, you said you would answer some questions that have been asked of you over the internet and the blog scene and forums of the last couple of days. Could you do that for us? Yes, of course. Um, you'll have to excuse me because I need to read the questions. There are about three or four of them, I think. Um, the, the, the first one that I uh, took down and noted was uh, a question about how did the uh, corruption in Jersey and the stupidity of the corrupt rank with what I had experienced elsewhere. And, and I suppose, for me, the big difference uh, with Jersey is, is that the corrupt that I encountered in Jersey uh, were not really and are not really accountable to anybody. Uh, everywhere else, and I, and I think that other police officers probably found the same, uh, anywhere else where uh, we encountered this sort of uh, corruption, whether it was amongst politicians or whatever, uh, they were always accountable to somebody and you always had a, um, the vast majority of those who were supposed to be making the laws and um, uh, uh, in, in parliament or in local government or elsewhere fully supporting efforts to root the corruption out. Uh, in Jersey it's totally different because most of the corruption that uh, I encountered, um, apart from a, a very small number of police officers which made headline news, but most of the corruption I encountered seemed to be in politics uh, well, at one level and all right down to um, uh, the, the, parish le uh, the parish hall level with the uh, honorary police. And, and again, I emphasize that was only a minority of honorary police, um, but certainly politicians. And the big difference in respect of the politicians was, as I said, that they just weren't accountable and aren't accountable to anybody at all. They seem to be able to do and say as they want, and nobody um, seems able to, um, to, to, to take them on. So, so that was the first question that had been asked of me. What was the big difference between Jersey and elsewhere? Um, the second question was quite specific. Would police still have the tape recording of the conversation between um, David Rose, the uh, supporter of convicted paedophiles, and uh, uh, Graham Power, in which Rose uh, accused Senator Pershard of leaking a confidential police email? Well, the answer to that, quite simply, is the police should still have uh, that um, uh, re recording of that telephone call, but bearing in mind that uh, Graham Power was uh, uh, hoisted out of his hoisted out of his office very very quickly, uh, and uh, David Warcup was in there for some time. And bearing in mind David Warcup's record, uh, as evidenced by Napier, uh, in uh, not being quite uh, open with everything that went on, uh, there, there's always the possibility that that um, uh, telephone recording. Uh, has been uh, disposed of uh, and uh, maybe eradicated. So I suppose the short answer is I don't know they should have, but, but I don't know. Uh, and then a another questioner asked, why would Shenton uh, Pershard try and discredit the historic abuse inquiry? Uh, and, and made the point that uh, seemed to be a, a personal attack really upon myself rather than uh, uh, going anywhere else. Um, I um difficult one to answer because it goes way back before the historical abuse inquiry, back to the early days of the uh, problem with the huge number of ferocious firearms uh, that were being kept on the island, on license to begin with, uh, although through our efforts we managed to get most of those then licensed, but there still remain a uh, huge batch of weapons which would be prohibited and are prohibited in the United Kingdom. And uh, we were trying to uh, get rid of those, trying to bring some sort of order to them. And politicians were thwarting our every move and complaining about the fact that we had the gall and the nerve to go and arrest some prominent people who hadn't uh, complied with the firearms law, despite being given ample warning. Now, I mean, and, and incidentally, of course, we, we had another reminder of the dangers of uh, huge quantities of powerful firearms in, in Norway in the last few days. Um, so, so that started then, then there was a police corruption thing when we came under a huge amount of criticism from members of the Shenton family and, um, and other politicians for wasting money and rooting out uh, police corruption. And that was a, an argument that I could never understand. And I think that was when I really, uh, <laughs> that was when I really uh, discovered that the Jersey politicians seemed to be a little bit different from everybody else. Uh, because the politicians everywhere else, unless they were actively involved in that corruption, um, really wanted rid of police corruption because it's not a healthy thing for any uh, society. Um, but some of these uh, trio of goons 
um, actually seemed to re revel in the company of corrupt police officers and were actively working with them to try and uh, discredit not just me but other members of my investigation team in the Professional Standards Department who were trying to uh, uh, root this small number of corrupt police officers out. So the animosity uh, emanated from uh, uh, a, a way back then. Now the final question that I took out, uh, and I apologise if anybody's put questions in this morning because I haven't had the chance to look this morning, but the final question was um, uh, more of a comment really, but they were asking if I knew a lot more about these three uh, than, than I can say. And, and, and the straight answer is yes I do, um, it's, it's a fact of life. Um, as I said I upset them all from the early days, um, I have got lots of uh, policing contacts, lots of non-policing contacts and I found out um, bits and pieces about uh, all three of them uh, which, which I know to be fact and uh, which, I can't, uh, which I can't talk about in public. I hopefully at some stage, someday, um, that, that information will all uh, come out. But yes, the short answer is I know more about these three uh, than, than, I, uh, than I can say at the moment. Well, what you know about them, would, is, would that explain why they appear to be trashing you and your investigation? Well, I'm not sure if they're aware. Uh, I mean, the three of them, let's face it, are no paragons of virtue. One of them um, lost his job uh, in, the, uh, uh, in Jersey only recently because of uh, uh, totally unethical and uh, dishonest behaviour in respect of confidential emails. Uh, we've got a journalist on tape uh, saying that he emailed a confidential uh, email, police email to him. Um, we've got another one who hung about and frequented with corrupt cops and was trying to trash the child abuse investigation from day one. And then another one who, um, uh, who, who, who just seems to lurch from disaster to disaster. So the, they, one of the three of them, I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> the, the, the amusing thing about this is that all three of them are involved in the very behavior that they're trying to infer that, uh, that, that I and other colleagues have been involved in. And uh, they really are disgraceful, um, odious individuals. Yeah. Just before I get on to what I really want this interview to be about, um, I've got to ask the question, you follow Jersey politics to as best you can from, from up in Scotland there. Can you think of any representation, any questions, propositions, amendments, where any of the abuse victims and survivors <clears throat> could turn around and say thank you to Jimmy Pershard, Ben Shenton or Sean Power? Have they got, have the abuse survivors got, can they thank them in any way? Well, certainly from the time, from the time that I was there, the abuse survivors have got absolutely nothing to thank them for because they never showed one ounce, not one ounce of sympathy, empathy or understanding of what the abuse survivors and victims had been through. Not one ounce. They never ever at any stage uh, in any of their uh, dealings or public utterances. In fact, um, you know, one of them um, uh, uh, labelled the, um, the, the the victims as a bunch of um, disturbed minds and criminal records. And um, the three of them together have done everything that they possibly could uh, to undermine uh, the investigation and undermine uh, the uh, abuse survivors. And and I suppose I keep saying that that I'm not the target and and and. and Ultimately, that is absolutely the truth. But I, I, I suppose that reflecting this morning as I stepped, stepped downstairs, that I, I really should feel uh, a, a small source of um, uh, pride because the way that they're trying to destroy any investigation into the horrific abuse that uh, the uh, survivors suffered and the ordeal that they went through, and the fact that they're spending so much time not attacking uh, the victims directly, but attacking me, means that I must be doing something uh, which is bringing the plight of the victims and their suffering uh, to the surface. Now for them to continually invent, which is what they're doing, invent nonsense to try and uh, smear myself and that way get at the uh, abuse survivors, which is what they're doing. They're, they're getting at the abuse survivors. It's a cold, calculated uh, plan and a cold, calculated action which is being put into effect to discredit the evidence that the abuse survivors have given. That's the, that's the bottom line of it. You've got to remember that, that all this nonsense about the news of the world, I mean, they know 
uh, presumably even with their limited grasp of what's going on around them, they must know that the news of the world story is not about uh, police officers buying dinner uh, for news of the world journalists. It's about police officers allegedly receiving huge amounts of hospitality uh, from uh, journalists at News International, News of the World, um, with whom they should have been investigating. Um, now, if they want next to be accusing me when they actually sit down and reflect that, I suppose they'll be accusing me of uh, secretly having uh, conversations and uh, entertainment with uh, the abusers who we were hunting down. That's the equivalent. Uh, this, all this nonsense and the red herrings about me buying dinner and drinks for a news of the world journalist is, is, just, is, is just a red herring.